Psalm 51 is a heartfelt prayer of repentance and contrition, attributed to King David after his sin with Bathsheba. It is a powerful expression of remorse, a plea for forgiveness, and a longing for spiritual renewal. Psalm 51 serves as a model for genuine repentance, showing how one can approach God with a contrite heart, acknowledging their shortcomings. The psalmist's words can be used as a prayer for God's mercy, forgiveness, and the cleansing of sin from one's life. Psalm 51 is a powerful expression of brokenness and humility before God, recognizing His holiness and the need for His grace. The psalmist's plea for a clean heart and a renewed spirit can inspire believers to seek a deeper, more intimate relationship with God. Psalm 51 underscores God's compassion and willingness to forgive those who come to Him in genuine repentance. The psalmist's plea for God to create a clean heart and renew a right spirit within can serve as an invitation for believers to surrender to God's transformative work. Psalm 51 can be used as a template for personal confession and seeking forgiveness in times of moral failure. The psalmist's plea for truth in the inner being can prompt believers to strive for authenticity and integrity in their relationship with God. Psalm 51 can offer comfort to those who carry the weight of guilt and shame, assuring them of God's willingness to forgive and restore. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel so that other powerful prayers can reach your cell phone through YouTube. I truly hope your hearts will be blessed. Repeat after me, Psalm 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me throughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Amen. May Jehovah Rapha bless you greatly and powerfully until next time.